bit shelves. So these are from Washika Biomes as well. Those don't actually change very often. And I don't really need all of these taking up this much space, but they're so beautiful that, you know, improves our atmosphere exponentially. So we have our middle insets that all of the kids still use to make designs and things and practice handwriting. And they're actually surprisingly hard for my oldest with special needs. So it's perfect for her. This whole shelf here would be language one. And so like in here, I have these um, matching cards um, for my son, but everybody likes them because, you know, butterflies. And those are from Matrii Learning. Um, these are snap words, which are great, which are sight words and they have little actions to go through. Um, and then this is just a cool little box that I had intended for cultural lesson, but I use it to keep an assortment of miniatures that they can get the movable alphabet out and just spell, you know, yarn, hen, key, rose, just random. Sometimes I try to keep them the same letters, but all my kids are getting older. Go back outside. I'll tell you when lunch is ready, okay? an assortment of like Bob books in here that the kids can read themselves and the older kids can read the harder ones and then these are from Lakeshore and they're just super cool little sight word readers that have pictures to help. It really helps with my dyslexic daughter. I have quite a few of those and then some word family sound books and then a pencil sharpener which I had the kind manual kind but it's just so much easier to do that and then this is I usually just keep some random Lakeshore phonics activity in this section and I update this like weekly or every couple weeks but um if you've not seen this reading program I really recommend it even if you don't get the beautiful boxes for it but great images and they're all organized in a, uh, what is the guy's name? I forget, of course. Anyway, it's good for so Gordon Gillingham sequence. I'm probably really wrong, but anyway, like bib. So they'd get the movable alphabet and they spell them. And then after they write it out, they can match. They're actually reading and match to that. And then, after they do that, they come over and cursive on one side and print on the other. And they read through this and those are the words that they've been practicing. And I wanna say there's some extra words in there that aren't necessarily on the cards to make sure that they get the concept of it. And also something that we do that we really like that we don't have a anything to show for is um we really like Heidi songs so like when my kids are doing this they'd be going singing all the little songs she's got a song for everything and it's on Spotify if you google or if you look at Spotify and search for Heidi Butkus Heidi songs anyway I highly recommend that especially for the very little ones and for those with dyslexia just such a super fun challenging homeschooling thing to deal with. Um, this is paper specifically for the metal insects. I do not cut myself. I order because I'm lazy. And this I found on a shop on Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, just a bunch of words that they can write. Um, seasonally I change them or monthly I change them. This is our grammar box which I haven't formally started with them. So I can't even talk too much about that. I have a loose understanding but I haven't done it yet these this is all like for handwriting and writing I have them sandpaper letters these are really nice wooden ones that have been used a lot so I'm just in them. those are the print ones this is our movable alphabet part one and part two that gets used a lot but pretty much daily um, this is another version that has a lot of blends to use 
because we do some different stuff. Stamps that will be used for Play-Doh. And then we have some grammar symbol stone here, which we're working through. I've only done about half. Some stamps and a stencil for the grammar. And then our actual shapes. We haven't done this yet. Hopefully soon. Stamps and I kind of ordered nice wooden ones, but those being really cheap. I just printed out and laminated and cut out the grammar symbols for them to use. And we have a plethora, a plethora of activity options, which is always good. I should have a vlog, huh? I'm awesome at this. Yeah, we got this for free because. Oh my gosh, it's like it's all smashed. And then, this is my ghetto set, right? This game, the article is supposed to be light blue, but it was the same color, so I painted it. Kids don't care. I mean, there's something to be said about having nice quality items, but my concern is the process. So if you got to use paper cutouts, do it. It's all about learning. And then this is language works, which is super cool. And my kids don't use it that often. But when they do, you know, they'll spend a good half hour with it. I take a book. So they'd write AI, AI, AI all the way down using this template. And they'd say rain, write it stay and write it um, all the way down on a piece of paper and then they print it over sometimes they cheat because they're children uh, my children they have their paper in front of them and they go rain and they have to sound out they already have the ai in the middle they have to sound it out and write it in and then they can turn this back over and check their work and i like this a lot like i said they don't use it as much as the reading program itself um, probably because it's more handwriting than using the movable alphabet. And actually, you probably could use a movable alphabet, you know, loosely with it. But anyway, so green boards, handwriting without tears. And then I've got a cable there for, we have a light board in there. There's some handwriting without tears um, workbooks that they like to use. But usually, I'll tell them to grab... Uh, hand, uh, sandpaper letter, even though I've read you're not supposed to technically be doing the chalk green boards with the sandpaper letters at the same time. I've read somewhere it's very helpful for my child who has special needs, so we do it. And then these are from Polywog on Etsy. Polywog, some number. I'm sure you can find it by searching for some wrong spot. Uh, these are the, like the blends. Uh, and then we have some grammar symbol three part cards that I made. And it's a stack of writing paper for whatever moves them. And then this is our desk hack. My kids are probably going to start fighting in a second. Um, this is from a Ferrero Rocher box. <laughs> Boggy Creek is our favorite summer camp for special needs. Um, all right, I think that completes, oh, nope. It's cutting out gracefully. This is a little shelf that my husband made me. That's some scrap. Um, nothing but the finest things, right? I have the piece of felt that's gonna beat up. And this is where they practice their grammar work. And they can actually slide out this. <laughs> to practice. Um, but they can take this out and say, you know, we already we did a lot of these already, but working with articles, adjectives, and nouns, and like the word families and how they go together, the brown cow. Yeah. 
Anyway, and the colors of that are supposed to match the colors of the symbols. But so they can, so it's like good reading practice, but also grammar work. Hey, and then they can find it here. You know, the brown cow eats hay, the spotted goat eats. We haven't actually done any labels for verbs. We're kind of behind because we were in the middle of this and I got a herniated disc in my neck, which is insanely painful, especially unmedicated because you're pregnant. Don't recommend that. So they keep that there. Um, they can write their own. I got these from Montessori Services because I got tired of cutting paper. And then there are scissors if they need to cut them apart. Um, and then the colors correspond. Anyway, I'll fix that later. But um, my other idea I'm going to be doing is getting the Playmobil. Because these are Playmobil. Little animals are much cheaper than... They're not cheap, but they're cheaper than a lot of things. And there's a lot of good little details that you can incorporate. Um, I'm going to get some of the Playmobil sets. Like they have a like pirate set. And they're like in little carry-on boxes. Keep that down there. They can change it out. They will really enjoy this work a lot. I recommend it. Anyway, I'll do my sensorial next. I'll make another video because this is already over 10 minutes.